Hi, I'm Ajne, um, formerly the leader of Aeon Dream Studios. I apologize for the quality of this video if it doesn't come out very good. I don't know where any of my like recording stuff and lighting stuff is right now because um, I moved like a month ago. Um, but yeah, I decided to make this video to try and answer some questions because a lot of stuff changed. And as shocking as it may be to me, a lot of people still care about my work. <laughs> so um, I like writing better, but sometimes I think video is better to get sincerity across. Um, and hopefully my videos get better the more I do them. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to start reading some questions that uh, came off of a form I set up, which was an Ask Me Anything form. And I got uh, 20 responses, and uh, I'm just going to start at the bottom. Um, they're not about, I, asked, I said ask me literally anything. So it could be from anyone about anything, and I would answer it as honestly as I could. I'm aware that there's likely some questions from, like, haters and stuff in here, but whatever. So I'm going to read them. This is my first time actually reading them. And I'm going to try not to rant, ramble too much because um, I don't have that much time to make this video and I want to make it in like one go. Maybe that's too optimistic, um, but I don't want to be, I don't want to have to do like much editing with it. Okay, so first question um, is a simple one. Uh, it is, who is your favorite operative? I've said this before, um, but zero and uh, zero and four are my favorite operatives. Um, I like darker, cooler, edgier characters, but I also like awkward characters, awkward dorks, because I'm a dork. Um, so hopefully that answers that question. Uh, somebody else said, question number two is, I'm so happy you're back. When will you release Mystic Destiny's Echoes on the mobile platform? It will be awesome if Mystic Destiny's Echoes is on the Google Store so I can continue after binging and DSOA. Uh, I'd love to be able to give you an answer to that, but I really can't because the mobile releases of anything caused me to have to bring in um, the freelancer programmer that I work with. Um, his name's Depeche, and he's really great, and he's awesome, and he always works really hard to get the releases out perfectly, but it takes a lot of hours to do with mobile because we have to do a lot of testing and hours of hiring someone means money and right now I don't have <laughs> enough revenue to do that so I really can't say um, that's why I'm doing patreon um, to bring in more money and I'm you know working as hard as I can to promote and bring in more money but um, it's gonna take a while probably to recover um, from all all of the expenses that I had in development over the last year or two. Um, so I really can't give an answer on when Mystic Destiny's Echoes would come to mobile. We were still working on getting um, Mystic Destiny's um, Serendipity of Aeons on iOS as it was, and we had to kind of stop with that because there was problems with that, but then I, I didn't have like budget to actually pay them, so I had to stop um, for now. But when I can, if, if, if maybe if I'm lucky sometime you know, early next year, I'll be able to bring it uh, to mobile devices. Question number three. Uh, so I'm gonna, just going to read it right out loud. Uh, hello, my name is Mina Yang, or Yang. Um, first of all, I really enjoy playing your games. I played Mystic Destiny, Serendipity of Aeons, and To the Edge of the Sky. I like the story development from both of them. Now, straight to the questions I want to ask. This concerns about To the Edge of the Sky. How will you continue the game by seasons while pre-writing for the To the Edge of the Sky novel? Correct me if I'm wrong. I was wondering how you're going to do that after after completing Mystic Destiny's Echoes and To the Edge of the Sky Season 1. Will To the Edge of the Sky be on break while you write for the novel? Will you publish the novel after To the Edge of the Sky Season 1 hiatus? Or when of all of the To the Edge of the Sky seasons are released? Thank you for reading, and I'll be reading for, reading for you. Um, first of all, thank you for really sweet compliments. Um, to answer your questions, I am planning to release the novel um, 
as my, like after I do To the Edge of the Sky season one, because there's only two, well, technically three more chapters left into the Edge of the Sky season one. So I'm planning on doing those. And then um, after that, um, so, so basically my project list right now is Mystic Destiny's Echoes and then To the Edge of the Sky season one. And um, then uh, after that is the novel. And then that's it for like all of my backed up projects. Um, I'm planning on writing the novel based on season one. Um, and the novel is supposed to just be like kind of encompassing to all of the world's lore and you get to see different perspectives of characters that may not even be into the edge of the sky right now. Um, so I don't have to wait till all of the seasons are complete. I would rather just do more novels. I've never done a novel before. I mean, obviously I've written visual novels, but I've never released a novel before. So I'm curious to see how that goes. Um, but I would just rather do more novels per each season and more sequels and see just kind of how that goes. Um, I don't want to make people wait any longer than they have for the novel itself. Um, so after To the Edge of Sky season one is completed, I will be writing um, To the uh, Edge of the Sky the novel, um, which will probably be like title number one or something like that, something fancy. And then as far as what happens to the Edge of the Sky while it's on, um, while I'm writing a novel, I will probably take a hiatus from it, but we'll see. Um, I'm still learning because I'm now I'm, now I'm alone. I'm still learning what I can do, what like what kind of things I can do like uh, together. Like like can I do two projects at a time? Um, can I write? For, can I, and maybe I can manage a release every now and then. Um, with to the edge of the sky and then do the novel in between. Um, you know, most of the time for like season two. Or am I going to take a break? I probably will take a break um, to prepare for season two. Um, but also to the edge of the sky is obviously something that brings in revenue. So I have to make a lot of considerations. So I really don't have a clear answer, except that I will be releasing um, the novel um, after the end of season one. And then I'm going to try to figure out um, if it's possible for me to continue to release um, to the edge of the sky season two um, while writing a novel, or if it's better for me to just write the novel. It might be better for me to just write the novel um, and it, because then I can just kind of like get that out of the way and have that out there and then go back to the game. Um, and also if I have the funding, um, I also have to get the funding to do to season two. Um, if there's any new characters or backgrounds that I need for it, um, we'll see how that goes. Uh, so the next question is, I'm well aware to the edge of the sky is no longer associated with BTS uh, slash big hit. Um, but I just had to ask, are you still a fan of BTS? Anyway, love what you've done and been doing so far with the game. Can't wait for the next update. Uh, so I am a fan, like the, the big hit situation with us had no bearing to me on whether or not I was a fan of BTS. Um, in general, like the only thing that I consider if, if when I'm trying to figure out if I'm a fan of someone or not is like their continued like music and stuff and what they output as an artist. So when it comes to me, um, I have like a very strict definition of what a fan is. And a fan to me is somebody who is a fan of someone's work. Sometimes in recent years, I'll be honest with you, I didn't like some of the music that BTS put out. However, um, they're always great performers. I've been fortunate to see them five times in concert. They're always really great. Um, they always throw, do a really great show, of course. I don't think anyone could argue that. And um, some, even if I don't enjoy a song, you know, listening to it, I generally enjoy it at the show. Um, so I would say I'm still a fan of BTS. Um, but in general, I can, I would say that it's kind of like in general, because some of their music, it depends on their albums are hit or miss for me lately. Um, but the old stuff I still love. And um, I would say that half of them I would stand and half of them I would, I would still chill with as people. So it's like they're all great people. And some of them I'm like really big fans of. And I'd love to see more solo stuff from them. Um, like Tay and Hobi and um, and uh, Yoongi and stuff. Like I really enjoy their performances when I go to see the show. And then like half the other half is like I still think they're really cool people. Even if I may not like everything they personally release. Um, so it's like, in general, I still support them from a fan point of view, but I also just like support them as people. Um, and I wouldn't say, I, I'm hesitant to say whether or not I'm an army because 
the fact that I don't just like support people based on no matter what they do or, you know, based off of, of like, just, just to be a fan. Like I, I really try to, art is important to me. Music's important to me. I really try to evaluate on a, on a case by case basis. There are people who I'm just like always fans of, um, no matter what they release, but, um, it, those are tend to be rare. Like I'm a fan of Hayes, um, the Korean singer. So like, but that's just because everything she releases is great to me and it's all what I'm looking for. But with BTS, sometimes it's hit or miss, but they're always cool people. So now that I've rambled on that, um, what do you use to make to the edge of the sky? That's the next question. Like Unisoft or, and do you have any tips for someone who's looking into developing? Um, I would, I use uh, Renp actually. Um, Renp is probably people would laugh at it like if they were like hardcore programmers. It's a really simple system though. Um, and I think it's really great and it's very versatile. You don't need anything else more for a visual novel. Um, some people try to make visual novels in like uh, Unity and um, just all these, all these, all the, all these like really powerful engines and I don't understand a need for that. I haven't hit a limitation with RMP. So um, I would say tips are start with RMP. It's very easy to make a game. There's great documentation. There's a great forum um, that I started with. Um, you can find people that I work with and people to hire and stuff on there. I'm, and look, play visual, play visual novels and break them down. Understand what makes them work. Understand the way they go. Like anytime I want to go do something for the first time, because I usually self-teach myself everything. Every time I want to teach myself something, I always go and I break it down. I study it. I analyze it. You know, I find out what makes it work. What, 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 it, what, what do I like about it? Why do I like it? Um, how can I make my work like that? Um, and then you kind of just got to get out there and do it. Um, I also just kind of grew up naturally reading a lot about game development and, um, and I uh, was also like a freelance games journalist. So like, I just also knew about the industry and how it worked and stuff beforehand to some degree. Um, and then I also like kind of immersed myself in um, the other people who were vision developing visual novels. I played um, some indie ones to see how they went. I played the very, very best ones, the top tier, you know, visual novels. And I understood, like I always uh, understood where I wanted to go and I understood where I was starting and um, just broke down anything I didn't understand and tried to figure out how to do it even if I didn't know how to do it. So you just really have to be ambitious and immerse yourself in what it is that you're trying to do. Like whether or not it's uh, books, writing, art, drawing, whatever, you have to immerse yourself in it if you really want to get started and um, really learn well.